renowned for his larger-than-life persona. Charlton Heston left an indelible mark on both the big screen and society. Growing up in Michigan during the Great Depression, he discovered his passion for acting early in life. After serving in World War II, he pursued his dreams further by studying drama in New York City. Heston quickly made a name for himself as a talented actor in films like The Ten Commandments and Ben-Hur, where he demonstrated his remarkable prowess. His contributions extended beyond cinema, however, as he actively advocated for civil rights and preservation efforts throughout his career. Despite facing adversity along the way, including health challenges later in life, Heston continued to make a lasting impact through his work until retiring from public life in 23. Let us delve into the rich tapestry woven by this accomplished actor, exploring some memorable milestones that shaped his extraordinary journey. Born as John Charles Carter in Wilmot, Illinois, in 1923, the future Charlton Heston spent his formative years in St. Helen, Michigan. This small town offered him a vast playground where he could explore the great outdoors, surrounded by woodlands and lakes. These early experiences helped shape his appreciation for nature and adventure, which would later become evident in some of his iconic roles. When he was 10, his life took a dramatic turn as his parents decided to part ways. Following their divorce, young John moved back to Wilmot with his mother, who soon remarried a man named Chad Heston. In a gesture of embracing his new family dynamic, he chose to adopt his stepfather's surname, thus becoming Charlton Heston. And so, under this new moniker, he continued to grow and develop into the talented actor we would come to know and admire. Charlton Heston's interest in acting took flight in high school, where he found himself drawn to dramatic performances. This budding passion would eventually lead him to pursue further studies in drama at Northwestern University. Here, fate intervened, granting him a partial scholarship to nurture his talent. It was during his time at Northwestern that he crossed paths with Lydia Clark, who would become an essential part of his life. However, winning her heart wasn't immediate. Heston reportedly proposed multiple times before she finally agreed to marry him amidst the backdrop of World War II. Their love story is as much a part of his legacy as his illustrious career. The actor's charisma and dedication were evident even then, setting the stage for what was to come. His journey from those early days to becoming a celebrated figure in theater and film is filled with perseverance, commitment, and undeniable skill. Each role he undertook added depth to his character, both on screen and off, weaving together a rich tapestry of achievement. After graduating high school, Charlton Heston decided to join the U.S. Air Force as a radio operator and aerial gunner during World War II. Just before he was set to report for active duty in March 1944, he asked his girlfriend, Lydia Clark, to marry him. She agreed, and they exchanged vows in North Carolina. Their military service took them to different parts of the world, but their bond remained strong. Even after leaving the military, Heston continued to act, securing roles in films like The Ten Commandments and Ben-Hur. His portrayal of these iconic figures solidified his status as a respected actor. Meanwhile, Lydia pursued her own acting career, appearing in various shows and movies throughout the years. Together, they built a life around their shared passion for storytelling, creating a legacy that continues to resonate today. After serving in World War II, Charlton Heston and his wife, Lydia, made their way to New York City with dreams of pursuing acting careers. At first, they found work as models to make ends meet. However, their ambitions led them to run a playhouse in Asheville, North Carolina for a year. This experience allowed them to hone their craft and connect with other like-minded individuals in the industry. Eventually, the couple returned to New York in 1948, determined to make it big on Broadway. Despite facing numerous rejections, Heston remained steadfast in his pursuit of stardom. He knew that success would not come easily, but he was willing to put in the hard work necessary to achieve his goals. With each audition, he grew more confident and refined his skills. Despite starting later than some of his contemporaries, Heston quickly caught up thanks to his natural talent and unwavering dedication. His perseverance paid off when he finally landed a coveted spot on Broadway. From there, he went on to become one of Hollywood's most respected actors, known for his powerful presence and commanding voice. Throughout his career, Heston never forgot his early struggles. Instead, he used them as motivation to push himself further and reach even greater heights. And while he may have faced obstacles along the way, he always approached them with determination and grace. It is this tenacity and commitment to excellence that has cemented his place as a true icon in the world of cinema. After serving in World War II, 
the actor who would later become known as Charlton Heston returned to New York. At this time, he began performing under the name Charlton Heston, which would eventually bring him great fame. Initially, Heston found success on Broadway, where he starred in productions such as Antony and Cleopatra and The Tumblr. His talent and dedication quickly caught the attention of audiences and critics alike, paving the way for his move into television. On television, Heston continued to make a name for himself, appearing in shows like Studio One and Playhouse 90. These performances demonstrated his versatility and range as an actor, further solidifying his reputation as a rising star. It wasn't long before Hollywood took notice of Heston's talents. In fact, his first film role came in the movie Dark City, which was produced by Hal Wallace. This opportunity allowed Heston to showcase his unique blend of intensity, charisma, and gravitas, setting the tone for the iconic roles that would follow. Throughout his career, Charlton Heston remained committed to delivering powerful and memorable performances, leaving an indelible mark on both the stage and screen. From his early days on Broadway to his successful transition to film, it's clear that Heston's impact will continue to resonate with audiences for generations to come. In 1952, the acting career of Charlton Heston took a significant turn when he was cast in Cecil B. DeMille's The Greatest Show on Earth. This role marked a pivotal moment for the actor, leading him to become a familiar face in historical and epic films. Soon after, in 1956, Heston landed another groundbreaking part, this time playing Moses in DeMille's The Ten Commandments, which further solidified his standing as a Hollywood icon. Delving deeper into these grand productions allowed Heston to explore various aspects of his craft. For instance, perfecting chariot driving became essential while working on Ben-Hur. Under director William Wyler's meticulous guidance, such dedication played a crucial role in the film winning 11 Academy Awards, with one being Best Actor for Heston himself. Through hard work and determination, the actor left an indelible mark on cinema history during its golden age. These timeless classics continue resonating today due to their powerful storytelling and unforgettable performances. Charlton Heston, initially a supporter of the Democratic Party, was known for his liberal views during the early stages of his career. He stood up for civil rights and denounced the actions of Senator Joseph McCarthy, who led a campaign against alleged communists in the U.S. government during the 1950s. However, Heston's political stance underwent significant changes over time. As the years passed, the actor began to adopt more conservative viewpoints. His transformation became evident when he started advocating for issues close to the heart of American conservatism. Among these matters was gun ownership, which emerged as one of his primary concerns. Consequently, Heston assumed presidency of the National Rifle Association in 1998, further solidifying his position as a prominent figure among conservative circles. During his tenure as NRA president, Heston fervently defended the Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms. He famously declared that his guns would be taken from my cold, dead hands a statement indicative of his unwavering commitment to preserving Americans' access to firearms. This shift from liberal to conservative politics marked a notable evolution in Heston's beliefs throughout his life. Charlton Heston and his wife, Lydia Clark, shared a strong bond that carried them through life's trials. Both faced health issues, including battles against cancer. Simultaneously, the actor grappled with alcoholism, which affected him significantly. Yet. He demonstrated courage by openly discussing his struggles and seeking help. Their love story began when they met during their time at Northwestern University and lasted over six decades until Heston's passing in 2008. Despite facing these difficulties together, they remained committed partners throughout their lives. Apart from personal matters, Charlton Heston also held significant influence within the National Rifle Association. Elected as its chairman in 1997, he went on to serve several consecutive terms. During one memorable moment at an NRA convention, Heston stood tall, holding a rifle, and declared that it would be taken from my cold, dead hands, a statement that resonated deeply among supporters. This powerful phrase encapsulated his unwavering commitment to gun rights advocacy. Throughout his tenure as NRA leader, Heston used his platform to rally members around preserving Second Amendment freedoms while adhering to responsible ownership principles. In 2002, Charlton Heston made a significant revelation about his health. The actor was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, a progressive neurological disorder that causes problems with memory, thinking, and behavior. As time passed, the public noticed a decline in Heston's health until his unfortunate passing in 2008. 
Despite facing controversy throughout his career, Heston's work both in front of the camera and behind the scenes left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry and beyond. His iconic roles in films like Ben-Hur and The Ten Commandments cemented him as one of Hollywood's greatest leading men. Off-screen, Heston was known for his political activism and dedication to preserving America's cultural heritage. Following the news of Heston's diagnosis, tributes poured in from notable figures and institutions across the country. Many recognized the impact that the actor had on their own lives and careers, while others highlighted the importance of raising awareness about Alzheimer's disease. From actors and directors to politicians and historians, all paid homage to the man who touched so many through his art and advocacy. Throughout his life, Charlton Heston remained committed to upholding the values he held dear. Even as his health began to deteriorate, those close to him spoke of his unwavering strength and determination. Though he may have been silenced physically, the legacy he leaves behind continues to resonate with fans around the world. And though it has been over a decade since his passing, the outpouring of love and admiration for the late actor serves as a testament to the timeless nature of his work and his enduring influence on future generations. Charlton Heston, known for his iconic roles in films like Ben-Hur and The Ten Commandments, had a complex relationship with those he worked with in the movie industry. At times, the actor found himself at odds with both co-workers and directors. One notable feud took place during the production of the 1965 Western Major Dundee. Tensions between Heston and director Sam Peckinpah escalated quickly due to creative disagreements, ultimately leading to a strained working environment. As a result, the initially promising collaboration became a source of frustration for all involved parties. On the other hand, Heston was also capable of maintaining close friendships with colleagues who held differing viewpoints. For instance, the actor developed a deep bond with fellow Hollywood star Kirk Douglas, even though they were often at opposite ends of the political spectrum. Despite their contrasting beliefs, the two remained good friends throughout their lives, a testament to Heston's ability to separate personal relationships from professional disputes. This particular friendship highlights the multidimensional nature of interpersonal connections within the entertainment business. Throughout his career, Charlton Heston navigated various conflicts and camaraderie with finesse. His experiences illustrate how the dynamics of collaborative work can lead to both friction and fondness among professionals in the film industry. In 1950, the acting career of Charlton Heston took an exciting turn when he made the shift from stage to film. His first movie role was in the critically acclaimed but commercially unsuccessful Dark City. Despite the poor box office returns, critics praised Heston's powerful performance, paving the way for more significant roles in films like The Ten Commandments and Ben-Hur, both of which cemented his status as a leading man in Hollywood. Fast forward to April 5, 2008, when the entertainment industry mourned the loss of a legend. Charlton Heston passed away at the age of 84, marking the end of an era for Hollywood. Posthumously, he received many prestigious accolades, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian honor. Furthermore, the actor was also inducted into the Hall of Great Western Performers, highlighting his lasting impact on cinema. As we reflect upon this classic period in American filmmaking, it becomes clear just how much of a trailblazer Charlton Heston truly was. Although he may have begun his journey on Broadway stages, his move to Tinseltown revolutionized the big screen with epic portrayals and compelling storylines. Even today, fans continue to appreciate his legacy through repeated viewings of these timeless movies, each one standing tall among other cinematic masterpieces. And so, while the curtain has closed on this chapter, audiences can still enjoy the thrilling performances that define the illustrious career of Charlton Heston. Charlton Heston's portrayal of Moses in the 1956 epic film The Ten Commandments became a turning point in his acting career. This classic movie, which brought the Old Testament story to life, showcased the actor's ability to take on powerful and memorable roles. Following its success, Heston went on to secure other iconic parts in films like Ben-Hur, further establishing himself as a legendary figure in Hollywood. In addition to his achievements in cinema, the actor was deeply committed to advocating for civil rights during crucial periods in American history. In 1963, he participated in the historic March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom, standing shoulder to shoulder with prominent figures such as Dr. Martin Luther. King Jr. motivated by his strong convictions against inequality, Heston used his influence to promote fairness and oppose discriminatory practices. As an outspoken critic of segregation, 
Heston lent both his presence and voice to support just causes. His dedication to equality transcended the boundaries of the entertainment industry and left a lasting impact on the broader social landscape. By taking part in significant events and voicing his opinions publicly, the actor demonstrated his unwavering commitment to promoting positive change. Charlton Heston, initially known for his support of liberal politicians like John F. Kennedy, experienced a significant shift in his political views over the years. As he became more involved in conservative circles, his allegiance switched to the Republican Party. Heston's early career saw him associated with democratic ideals, but his growing disillusionment with the party led him to embrace conservatism. His political transformation was gradual, taking place throughout the 1950s and 1960s until he officially identified himself as a Republican by the late 1970s. The actor's increasing frustration with government regulations and taxes fueled his move towards the right. He began attending conservative events and even served as the president of the National Rifle Association from 1998 to 23. During his tenure, he staunchly defended the Second Amendment rights of American citizens. Despite facing criticism for his changed political stance, Heston remained unapologetic. He firmly believed in the principles of individual liberty, small government, and free markets, values that defined his later life. His activism extended beyond just advocating for gun rights. Heston also publicly opposed affirmative action policies and supported various other conservative causes. In doing so, he used his celebrity status to bring attention to issues close to his heart. Thus, Charlton Heston's journey from being a Democrat to becoming a prominent Republican, an NRA advocate speaks volumes about his evolving political beliefs. Over time, he emerged as a powerful voice in American politics, leaving an indelible mark on both Hollywood and Washington alike. Renowned actor Charlton Heston and his wife Lydia Clark faced significant health challenges throughout their lives. Both were diagnosed with cancer, Heston battled prostate cancer, and emerged victorious, while Clark fought breast cancer. Alongside these struggles, Heston openly addressed his fight against alcoholism. The couple's resilience was evident as they navigated through these trials together. Their unwavering determination allowed them to continue working and maintaining their public profiles despite the hardships they encountered. Heston's friendship with former President Ronald Reagan played a pivotal role in shaping his political views. This alliance eventually led to Heston serving as co-chairman of the President's Task Force on the Arts and Humanities in 1981. As a result, he became more politically active, advocating for causes close to his heart. Throughout his career, Heston remained dedicated to his craft, delivering powerful performances that left lasting impressions on audiences worldwide. His impact transcended generations, solidifying his status as a true Hollywood legend. Despite facing personal battles and embracing political involvement, Heston never lost sight of his passion for acting and his commitment to enriching the arts and humanities. In the latter part of Charlton Heston's life and career, he made several controversial statements and took actions that sparked heated debates. One of his most contentious stands was his fervent advocacy for the Second Amendment. As the president of the National Rifle Association, Heston delivered a memorable speech during the organization's annual meeting in 2000, holding up a rifle and boldly proclaiming, from my cold, dead hands. This powerful statement emphasized his unwillingness to surrender firearms ownership under any circumstances, further fueling the gun control controversy in America. One notable incident involving Heston occurred when documentary filmmaker Michael Moore interviewed him for Bowling for Columbine, which tackled the topic of gun violence in the United States. At the time, concerns had been raised regarding the actor's cognitive abilities due to his advanced age. Nevertheless, Moore persisted, conducting the interview despite growing apprehension over Heston's capacity to fully grasp and engage with the questions presented. The decision to include this interview in the finished product led critics to accuse Moore of exploiting Heston's deteriorating condition for shock value. They argued that Moore crossed ethical boundaries by taking advantage of the elderly actor's diminishing faculties resulting in what some deemed an unfair portrayal of Heston. These criticisms forced many viewers to question both Moore's intentions and journalistic integrity. Despite these controversies, it remains undeniable that throughout his illustrious career, Charlton Heston left an indelible mark on Hollywood. Starring in numerous iconic films like Ben-Hur, El Cid, and Planet of the Apes, his legacy continues to resonate deeply among cinema enthusiasts even if certain aspects of his personal beliefs have generated intense debate and polarization. 
While opinions remain divided on how he handled himself towards the end of his public life, there can be little doubt that the actor's immense contributions to American culture will endure for generations to come. Charlton Heston's contributions to both film and politics have left an indelible mark. As an actor, he became known for his powerful performances in epic films such as Ben-Hur, for which he won the Academy Award for Best Actor in 1959. His commanding presence made him a natural fit for roles that required strength and gravitas, and over the course of his career, he appeared in countless classics like The Ten Commandments and Planet of the Apes. Off-screen, Heston was also a passionate advocate for causes close to his heart. He served as the president of the National Rifle Association from 1998 to 23, during which time he fiercely defended the Second Amendment rights of American citizens. However, his political activism often sparked controversy and divided opinions. Despite these contentious issues, Heston's impact on cinema remains undeniable. Over the years, he received numerous accolades for his work, including a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and the prestigious Presidential Medal of Freedom bestowed upon him by President George W. Bush in 23. In addition, he has been posthumously inducted into multiple halls of fame, solidifying his place among the greats of Hollywood's golden age. Throughout his life, Heston remained steadfast in his convictions and unafraid to voice his opinions. While some may dispute his views, few can deny his talent and dedication to his craft. Today, cinephiles still admire his body of work, praising his ability to bring depth and nuance to even the most iconic roles. And so, despite any lingering debates surrounding his legacy, one thing remains clear, Charlton Heston will forever be remembered as a titan of stage in 